Hello. Hi, Michelle. Yes. Hi, this is David from Comcast. I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be changing your phone number on Monday morning. Why? Um, someone else wanted your phone number, so we gave it to them. So we're going to give you a brand new one. Uh, no, thanks. We want our, we're going to keep our phone number. Oh, no, no. It's already been done. It's, it's been done, and it's going to take effect Monday morning. It's already in the computer. You don't really get a choice. Phone number. No, they're not. Oh, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Hi, Mr. Lyman. Yes. Hi, this is Dave from Comcast. Yeah. And I just needed to let you know we've changed your phone number. It's going to take effect uh, Monday morning. Why did you change our phone number? Nobody called, or we did not get permission. And who are you? And I already told you who I am. Yeah, they they just wanted it like ASAP, and they bid a lot of money on it. So we're giving them your phone number, and you'll get a brand new one. No, absolutely not. I'm sorry, but uh, you said your name is Dave? Yeah, it's Dave from Comcast. Dave from Comcast. And Dave, what is your last name? Westwood. And Dave, what is the number that I can call you back at? Uh, 1-800-COMCAST. And uh, what is the reason that this phone number's changed? Uh, well, there's a celebrity that wanted your phone number. I guess your number spells um, something related to his his act. And he just wants your phone number because it spells a certain word. Well, we're not giving it up. Well, no, it's not up to you. You don't own the phone number. The phone number belongs to Comcast. Well, uh, no, I'm, th- that's bullshit. No way. Yeah, well, no, you don't get a choice. It's not up to you. It's It's Comcast's phone number. We're just leasing it to you, you know? I, I'm sorry, but um, no, that no. Technically, it doesn't um, even belong to us. It belongs to AT and T. But AT and T is working with us. They're going to let us keep it, and they're going to let us give it to the celebrity. Um. Yeah. I, I. I don't. I don't give a shit. Just because somebody's a celebrity, that they give a phone no, They get a phone number. I mean, if if I wanted somebody else's phone number, can I go get it? Or yeah. I can't because I'm not a celebrity. Oh no, you can do it. You just need a bunch of money. He he bid a two hundred and thirty thousand dollars for your phone number. Because it's gonna go. He's going on tour this summer, and he needs a phone number that spells a clever word or whatever. It's for Carrot Top. Do you know who Carrot Top is? Yeah. Yeah. He, he's. He's taking your phone number. No, no, that's that's not gonna happen. Oh, it's already um, happened, sir. You don't tell us how to do our job. This is what happens. You can't just keep your number forever. You, wait a minute. I don't tell you how to do your job. You're going to... Hang on. I'm a customer, and you're going to talk to me like that? Yeah, well, you uh, were cursing at me a second ago, so I can tell you whatever I want. Well, here, here, let me let me tell you this, then. Go yeah. fuck yourself. <gasps> what is your name? Who is this? That is your last name. Butthole.
Snowplow. Hey everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show, episode 545. Today is April 12th, 2019. And this show is brought to you by Badger Teeth, Jesse Lobster, My Third Nipple, Norman Bates, and Unfortunate Byproduct. Those are the names that five people used on Patreon to support the show with. I do not have a third nipple. That was somebody's name. They are supporting the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers, where they get extra shows every week. Like just yesterday, I did a hobo sode where I tried out some new hold music that Pepe sent to me. And I would say that the test was unsuccessful, but I still had a lot of fun doing it. It's a 30-minute hobo sode. Be sure to go listen to that. You can also support the show by going to phonelosers.com slash cactus or newproject2.com slash cactus. We've had some new people sign up recently like Tyler C. and Mr. Abstruse. Abstruse? Is that what it is? Abstruse? Using these big old words that I don't know. Thanks, you guys. And also, I noticed that I've been neglecting people that sign up on the website instead of the Patreon, like Derek S. and Time Travel Tees, Blake W., Scott K., Blake M., Roy M., Daniel S., and Gene L. Those go quite a ways back. So thanks, all of you, for signing up and supporting the show. I was on the Super Phone Brothers show this week. We tried to do some more Arby's Bell stuff, and I don't think we had too much luck with that. But we had a lot of fun dipping things in chocolate together, as grown men do. And I can't seem to find an archive of the Super Phone Brothers anywhere. Do they have a podcast feed? I don't know. They broadcast on Prank Call Nation, which is at Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation. But they don't have any archives up on there. The only person to archive on that website really is Party Time with Laugh Track Matt and Zach's. But maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. I'm sure Super Phone Brothers puts their stuff up somewhere. If I figure it out, I will put a link in the show notes. They do a fun show on the Prank Call Nation machine. You can find them at twitter.com slash phone brothers. There, that's what I'll do. Instead of giving a link to their show, they can just tell you on Twitter where the fuck it is. I feel like I was on another show recently too. Was it Devin's show or Wasted Memories show or Justin's show? I don't know. There's so many shows and I've been listening to way too many of them lately. Uh, about a month ago, I guess I mentioned the PLA Bandcamp page with the merchandise on it, the PLA lapel pins that look really awesome, and I kind of want to get some more of them because I'm starting to run low. But quite a few people ordered those from me. I completely ignored the orders for about a month. And just so you know, I have sent all of those out this past week. I've been very productive this past week. That's why I haven't done a lot of shows. I think I went three days without doing any shows. But I sent out all the lapel pins. A bunch of people requested some stickers. I sent those out too. If you want to get some lapel pins, they're on phonelosers.bandcamp.com while they last. Thank you, everyone that's buying them. It's because of you that I'm able to just give them away for free at the meetups, which is why I'm running out of them. Maybe I should stop doing that. There's a new Brad's Cactus Shack out. I have to have mentioned that, right? On the last Snowplow show, I can't remember. That was such a long time ago. I think it was on Sunday. But there's a new Brad's Cactus Shack out. It's at notla.com. It's barely worth mentioning. It's about an hour worth of really hard to listen to audio. So enjoy that. I think that's about all I have for today's show. Oh, wait, there is breaking news. The guy that swatted somebody in Kansas has been sentenced to 20 years in prison because he got some guy killed. I've been sort of following that story. It's pretty interesting. The other people involved are also going to get sentenced. I don't know if they'll do jail time, but they're in some trouble. There's some teenager from Ohio. I guess he's a minor, but he did like 70-something swattings recently. They just arrested him. They're not saying his name or anything, I guess, because he's not 18 yet. So apparently it's not a good time to be swatting people, everyone. And that reminds me that there's some updates on the Skunk Works case. You know, the guy that used to call into my old show, the phone show, and then we find out he's been building secret tunnels underneath his house. He's basically doing real-life PLA prank calls. He's supposed to be prosecuted or uh, acquitted or whatever happens to him this month of the criminal charges. And then I guess later this year he's got civil charges. But there's not a whole lot of new news about it. But there is a couple news stories talking about the ongoing court case that should be wrapped up by the end of this month. It probably won't be. It'll probably be delayed or something. But the last time I checked the court records, it was supposed to be finished up in April. I forget which day. I think they're picking out a jury or something. So I'll put a link to that in the show notes if you want to read about that. There's a whole Brad's Cactus Shack about the conspiracy of that whole thing by some crazy conspiracy lady if you want to go listen to that. I hope Skunk Works doesn't get sentenced. He's an idiot, but come on. It was an accident. You know how it is with an intricate network of tunnels underneath your house. Things happen. 
If it's not the robots coming after you, it's something else. Are you over 30 and single? You can find love and romance right here on the telephone on the Romance Hotline. Just call this number, and all you have to do is listen. You'll hear recorded messages from exciting singles over 30 looking for love and romance. The Romance Hotline. 1-900-346-8000. Dollar 50 first minute, 75 cents additional minutes. Why not call now? All you have to do is listen. It looks like I have some breaking news for everyone today. Minnesota got hit with some dirty-ass snow this week. That's from gizmodo.com. And I guess some wind picked up a bunch of dirt out of Roy, New Mexico, and made the snow all brown and stuff. A bunch of people are tweeting about this. If you scoop up some snow and eat it, then you're basically eating dirt from New Mexico. That's pretty awesome. But what I'm most concerned with here is that Minnesota got a bunch of snow. And I'm looking on a webcam right now on earthcam.com, and it is currently snowing in Minnesota. So what this means is I need to call up some people and tell them to stop writing on my car windows in the snow. They need to grow the fuck up. Hello? Hey, Susan? Yeah, uh uh-huh. Hey, it's your neighbor, Roy. I live down the street in the blue house. Oh, okay. Hey, um, I noticed you're, you're writing on my car window again this year, like in the snow. I'm what? Writing on my car window. I saw it, like, when I went to work this morning and you did it last week. Can you please just stop writing on my car window? I'm not writing on your car window. I no, think you must have the wrong house. No, I'm sure it's you. They, they, like you wrote your name, and on the <laughs> no, you know, in the snow. I'm sorry, you have the wrong house. No, I'm sure it's you. Like, please, just stop. Fine, whatever. We'll let the police deal with it, Susan. If that's how she wants to be about it, let's try Floyd and Shirley. I'm calling these out of the white pages, so I think it's mostly going to be old people. And they're just going to be like, oh, I'm bedridden. I can't write in your windows. Hello? Hey there. Uh, This is Roy. I live down the street from you here on Matilda. Is is Michael around? Um, uh, I don't live on Matilda. Oh, you don't? No. When did you move? Um, Roy, who are you, Roy? I live in the blue house. I was I was calling for Michael. I didn't even want to talk to you. Mike who? Michael. Michael who? Durr. Just a minute. Okay. He's on another line right now. Can I have him call you back? Oh, it's it's fine if he just just doesn't want to talk to me. I mean, just be honest. Just tell me he doesn't want to talk to me. I get it. I don't know who you are. Yeah, Michael knows me. I'm Roy. I'm in the Blue House. But uh, can you just pass a message to him, please? Sure. Can you tell him to stop coming over here and writing in my car window in the snow? Cause that's... Okay, well... First of all, I don't live on Matilda Street. Then why is he coming over here, like all the way over to Matilda Street, just to ride on my car window? That's ridiculous. Do you know how old Michael is? I, well, I don't understand what you're... He's in his 50s, just like me. I, I just, I, I know Michael. I, I've said hello to you before. I don't know why you're pretending you don't know me. I don't but... live on Matilda Street. I don't even know where it is. Yeah, right. Anyway, um, yeah, just... No, ha- no, I'm, this is serious. I'm going to call the cops because you're harassing me. I'm, I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not harassing anyone. I'm just making a simple request. Please don't write on my car windows. Uh, who are you? Who, what? I don't know who Roy is, and I don't know where, on Matilda Street. I don't know where you got my name or number. For, from the phone book. My, Michael has my number. It's, like, it's probably in his cell phone. Just If he wants to call me back and apologize, that, that'd be cool, but... I, I was just hoping you could just ask him to stop doing that, because that's immature. No, I, no, I, you know what? I'm going to make sure he's working, and I'm going to have him talk to you. I don't know where you think you, you're coming from that you can, you can call me and tell me that he's been coming to your host right on your car. Yeah, well, who else would write his name like Michael was here? I know it was him. Okay, let me see. Michael is probably the most common name in the United States. No, it's John. And so I don't know where you would pick that up from. Well, who else would do it? There's, there's no other Michael on the street. We do not live on your street. Go knock on our door if you think I live there. I don't live there. 
Would you move? Just a second. It's just. Are, a- are you on the phone for work? Mike, this is Roy, who thinks we live on Matilda, and you're writing on his car. Hello? Hey, I don't appreciate your wife yelling at me. I was just calling to ask if he could stop writing in my car, uh, you know, on the snow in my car. Well, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah, of course. You're, you're not sure. But for real, though, can you just please stop doing that? Please stop coming over here and writing your name in my window. Because it leaves marks in the window, and I have to, like, Windex them off. And it, it like when I you know when I defrost the windows, I can see your name still. And it's not funny. Please stop. <laughs> it is funny to me because I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. Just tell your wife that this was a prank call and that I don't live on Matilda, and I was just joshing with her. That's all. Sure. Okay. Thanks. See ya. All right. Bye. It's weird that she's talking like she's never lived on that street, because how else would this phone listing be here? 411.com doesn't make mistakes. Hello? Hey, Mary? No. Oh, okay. Mary's my mother-in-law. Who are you? To- uh, this is Roy. I live down the street. I'm here in the blue house. I'm okay. Matilda. Oh, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're close, you're, you live close to my mother-in-law. Yeah. But this is not her phone number. What oh, that's do you need? weird. She gave me her phone number. She gave me this number. Oh, okay. Well, hold on a second and let me give you her real phone number. She probably was looking at mine and it was just a mistake. I'm oh, okay. sorry. Oh, Usually okay. when people call for my mother-in-law or something, it's a telemarketer. So oh, <laughs> yeah. I, that's why the not so friendly tone, <laughs> like, who are you? Yeah, but hold on a second, okay. and um, is everything okay? Oh yeah, everything's perfectly fine. I just had a question for her about the street. Okay, hold on a second, and let me. Um, okay, thank you. Let me look at my phone because I don't know it by heart. Mary, all right, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Four. Okay. Is the is the home? Did you give it her home or herself? Oh, I'm not sure. Well, why don't you try? Why don't you try the home? Okay. The her cell is. She doesn't usually answer her cell unless she's like out and about. Oh, okay. So her cell is. I would try the home number first. Okay, great, and um, yeah, I'm gonna call her up and try to sell her a vacuum cleaner because I'm actually a telemarketer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to hurry up and call her. Hurry up. Connect. Connect. Oh, man, it's not connecting. Her daughter is going to beat me to it. Come on, man. Did she give me the wrong number? Here, I'm going to call both numbers simultaneously. Oh, the other one hung up. The home number hung up. Now I'm trying her cell. Your call has been forwarded to an... Darn it. I, I'm sure I've, I've lost at this point. She beat me. Damn that daughter-in-law. Hello? Hello, is Mary Brown? The mask is calling. Uh, this is Roy. I live down the street. I'm in the blue house. Okay. Can we help you? What can we help you with? Well, Mary keeps coming over here and writing her name in on my car window in the snow. And I was wondering, uh, can you ask her to please cut that out? That, that's impossible, sir, because she's a 75-year-old woman with a walker. I know, because I can see, like, I followed the footprints, and you can see the walker prints on either side straight to your house. So that's that's all I asked. Just please ask her to please stop. Sir, that's not her doing that. I'm sure it is because she's writing her name on my car window. And whenever I, you know, I defrost the windows in the morning and I can still see her name even after that. And I have to, you know, I have to spend the extra time and Windex her name off of my window before I go to work. And it's a big hassle. And, you know, I just I don't I don't need this. I just want to get in my car and go to work. Can you please ask her to stop? I, I, sure. Which house are you in again? I'm in the blue house, you know, like just a couple blocks down. 
a couple blocks down. Yeah, why, why is she doing that? I mean, like, she needs to why, act, act she, her age. Sir, sir, I can guarantee you she can barely make it to the mailbox and back. Why would she walk all the way to your house, write her name in your window, and walk all the way back to her house? That's a good question. Maybe it gives her some kind of a cheap thrill or something. I, I, I just wish she would stop. That's all. A, a couple of blocks down. What's your address? Well, why? Why do you need that? You obviously know where I live, and, well, then let's, uh, what's your address D- if you're a couple you know blocks what? If, down? If you want to know where I live, just follow Mary's footprints and her walker tracks sir, to my car. Sir, how are we going to dr- follow them? There is nothing on the, on the ground. There is no snow. Okay, well, just, like, if you could just ask her to, <laughs> that's all I ask. Just ask her to stop. What, what street are you or, on? Or could you put her on the phone? I'll have a talking to with her. What street are you on, sir? I'm on Matilda. What? Yes. Oh, hello, Mary? Yeah. Oh, hey, Mary. It's Roy down the street. You know, like in the blue house? The blue house. Yeah, well, you know which one. You you keep coming over here and writing your name in my car window. No, sir, it's not me. Can you please not do that? I don't know who does it, but... It's not me. Well, they're writing your name. They're writing Mary was here. Well, I can't help it. Whoever is putting it up there, it's not me. <sighs> Come on, Mary. Just Can you just apologize and not do it anymore, please? No, because I've done nothing. Are Goodbye. You, are you sure? Hello. Hello, Steven? Yep. Hey, it's Roy. I live down the street in the blue house. What do you want? Wow. That's rude. Anyway, I was hoping you could um, stop coming over to my house and writing on my car window in the snow. Like, don't you have better things to do? Don't I? That's what I just asked you. I probably you. do. Well, can you please cut that out? What's the call about? I- I'm calling to ask you to please stop writing on my car window in the snow. <laughs> you got the wrong person, man. I don't think so. It, that's that's the last thing I do. Well, what do you do before you ride on my car window? Who are you? Uh, this is Roy. I already told you. I live down in the blue house. Roy, Roy who? Yeah, in the blue house. But can can you just please stop doing that and, and just grow up, okay? Okay, I think I may be done with these. I called up every neighbor number that 411 gave me. And now when I try and get more, it's like, eh, you've looked at too many records. Buy our premium plan for $10. Oh, here's a lawn company, though, nearby. A lawn and turf company. Good afternoon, lawn and turf. Hey there, this is Roy from Verizon Wireless. Yes. And, uh, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing your phone number today. And I have your new phone number here, if you'd like that. Wait. Well, Oh, wait a second. You're really losing me. Oh. Uh, which phone number are you talking about? Uh, it's a... Uh, that's been reassigned to somebody else. So you have... Wait a minute. Yeah, that's This is a business you're talking about. We're a business. We've had this number for a long time. Yeah, I know. You're, it's are, just, are you you're, serious? Are you, you can't just call us and say, we got everything... Oh, we got... We got hundreds, if not thousand situations where... We've been using that number. Yeah, well, you just have well, to give what, people what your... What led you to that? How, how can you... What? You have to give people your new number now. And I have your uh, new number here if you'd hey, like. Hey, no, 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 no. You, can, you, you can't do this. How, is, you, just out of the blue, you just... Are we, have we been notified of this before? Well, I'm calling to notify you. Um, like I, I was just setting up a phone number for another customer, and I accidentally gave him your phone number. So You I'm, have to... Get it. You can't do that. We need that number. You can't do that. Well, it, it was an accident. I'm really sorry. I'm kind of. I don't care if it's here. an accident. You can't do it. You got to redo it then. Well, I don't know how. I'm serious here. I'm CFO of this company. We we we're a small business. You cannot take away our number. Come on. Uh, well, I've I, it's already been done. I already gave it to the other customer, and he's happy with it. Then take it away from he, him then, and give it back to us. Um, this is absurd but to call us on a Friday and say we have a different number. He'll be angry. What though. do you think our customers are going to do? 
Yeah, but he'll be angry if I take his number away because he just got it and he's already given it. How to- do you think I feel? You don't think I'm angry now? I'll well, come over there and I'll tear your throat out. Throw it out. That's how angry I am. You'll tear my throat out. That's that's rude. Look, I, I can get you I'm my. I'm trying seat. to make the point that you cannot wreck our business. You're trying to wreck our business. Oh no, here. that's not what I'm trying to do. I, I'm just not very good at um, like setting up phone numbers yet. I, I wasn't fully trained. Uh, who, who is your short- supervisor? I have to talk to somebody here. I can put Carol this on. This is absurd. I can put Carol, my supervisor. This is absurd. You cannot just take my phone number away. I'm, We've had it for 25 years. Yeah, but it was an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. I don't care if it's an accident. You undo the accident. And what? you just said the other guy would be upset. Then make him upset, not me. I've had it here for 25 years. Well, at least I didn't. Uh, it's I, their livelihood. At least I didn't threaten to th- to tear your throat out or anything like that, but I can get my... I'm not threatening to throw, turn your throat out. I use that as an example. As far, Are you listening to me? I use that as an example to illustrate that I'm not very happy. Yeah, I'm but... Not, what, I never tear anybody's throat yeah, out. Yeah, but what I if I said, I'm going to come over and person. shoot... I'm going to come over and shoot you with the gun. Like, you'd take that as a threat, wouldn't you? Not that I'm going to do it. I'm just saying. You don't say things like that to people. It's breaking the rules. I don't rules. even know who you are. I, I'm in customer in service I, in Los I Angeles. I understand that. Well, I, I don't even know where Los Angeles is. I'm in Minnesota. Oh, Los Angeles, so, it's in on. California. It's a very large city. Like, I'm surprised you haven't Did heard you of call it. just to bug me, or what do you, why did you call me? To well, get me I, upset, or what? No, I'm not trying to upset you. I can put my well, supervisor... Well, that's what you're doing now. You're talking about L.A. like I'm stupid. I know. I've been He's, in L.A. all my life. Of course, I know it. You said so you, didn't, don't, you, said don't, you never heard of it. But I, I can put my supervisor on if you'd like to hold it. It's Carol. Maybe she can oh. change it, but I don't think she can, because I've already given it to the customer, and I already made the sale, so I got the commission. You can't take away my commission... Uh-huh. If you made the mistake, you have to own up to it, sir. Yeah, but it's my commission. I... That's not my call. It's not my call. Right. Not well, my call, your commission. Should I put my supervisor uh, on? Do you want to talk to Carol? I'll, I'll talk to Carol, and also I'm going to put this on voicemail because we're going to get everybody involved here. I'm CFO. I'll get the president here to plead our case. We well, cannot lose our numbers, sir. What do you mean put it on voicemail? Not voicemail. We put it on, on the uh, speakerphone. Sorry okay. about that. It's okay. I'm not going to tell. I'm not. Can, I'm I, can, not, I, can hmm. I talk to Carol, please? Yeah, let me put her on. I won't tell her that you threatened to tear my throat out. Uh, just hold. No, don't. Hold. Hey, don't talk so silly. You just threatened to uh, shoot me. So come on. No, I did Get not. I was using that as an example. You did too. You just told me. You said, "What? Do, how would you feel if I told that I could take that as a threat?" Same difference, sir. Same difference. No, no. I was just using that as an example. I was when using you, that as an example also. Well, I guess I just even. told you a couple of times I used it for an example. I guess we're and you even. don't want to listen to that. Part. Our, our threats can't. Yeah, all right. Cancel each, fair enough. Cancel, we're even. Cancel all each right, other we're out. Even. But at least I know what Los Angeles I'd like is. Let's speak with Carol, please. All right, just a minute, please. Yes. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Hello, this is Carol. Can I help you? Uh, yes, Carol. Uh, my name is Jim. Hey, Jim. I am CFO of Lawn and Turf, and one of your uh, employees, I guess, sir. I guess you're the supervisor. Yeah, I'm the supervisor and, on this and, floor. Yeah. Now, out of the blue, we get this call. I'm not sure who I was talking with. Oh, that but was Roy. That, Roy transferred you over okay. to me. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand, Carol, that we have a phone number that we've been using for, I, I, we've been in business for 25 years, mm-hmm. and we've had this number for most of those 25 years, and Roy is trying to tell me that he made an accident and we no longer have the phone number that we've been using. Yeah, it looks like he changed it. I tried it. to explain to him. I tried to explain to him that he just can't do that because we've got customers, if it's beyond hundreds or thousands, who are familiar with our number, and they rely on that number as we do. And out of the blue, he said, "Well, I'm sorry, I made an accident, and I can't change it." 
because he gave it to somebody else. Yeah, I guess he I, don't, he... I don't I don't think he can do that, can you? We need this number, Carol. Yeah, well, I mean, can't you just give your customers the new number? Because it looks like he's already changed it in here. Well, why can't he unchange it? Well, because the new customer has it, and he already got the commission. Well, then he'll have to, you'll have to undo it. Well, did, he did, said, well, the other customer will be upset. Well, I, I am very totally upset. Oh, he, We've got our life into this company, and we rely on that phone number a lot. He told me you gave him honest, permission no, to I'm change. I'm pleading with you. I'm pleading with you. I've never heard of anything so absurd that you can take our phone number away. Yeah, he said you gave him permission to change it. Oh, no, 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 no. When did I give him? I, I, I never heard of this before. I didn't know what his name was. He just said, I'm for, with Verizon, and, and I'm going to give you a new number. Yeah. I, I gave nobody permission. Oh. Huh. I, I can talk to him real quick and just... Is, is, it, is this a scam or what? Who who are you? What company are you with? Is well, this with, a scam I'm or what? I'm with Verizon Wireless. We're here in the Los Angeles call center with customer Ver service. Verizon. So uh, let me ask you this now, Carol. Is it Carol or Carolyn? Uh, Carol? Just, just Carol, please. Carol. Okay. Why would you in Los Angeles be dealing with me in Minnesota... Don't we have a local, regional that we should be dealing with on this? Oh, no, it's just whatever call center is the least busy, and you just happen to get Los Angeles. I guess the customer who has your number now, they're from Los Angeles. So that's why it was routed okay. through this office. But, no, the, there's, there's, there's only... Are, are you talking about now, what, what number are you talking about specifically? What is the number? Uh, your old number is six. Or that's the number that's not yours anymore. And that's as of when? Just like right now? Yeah, yeah, it's already changed. It's, it belongs to somebody else. I know, but it, why can't you unchange it? Because you made a, he admits he made a mistake. Yeah, no, Roy said that he, you gave so, him permission. So I, I do that mistake for us. I'm pleading with you. Okay, well, just, just, Roy said you gave him permission. Can I talk to Roy real quick? No, I'll no, no, I did not give him permission. He, and, and he started ranting and about how I'm threatening him and everything. I, I'm a very amicable person, you know? I'm an old person. I have all the love in the world. I'm old. I'm 76 years old. I'm mm -hmm. CFO of this company that struggles like a lot of other small companies. I have no animosity to anybody, much less from somebody out in California. I don't even know anybody oh. out there. Yeah, I, so, I, I, mean, I didn't he, think he did. He wants to twist things around, and, and, and he kept baiting me, so he... I mean, it's like I thought I was a scam call or something. Why? I said, why are you doing this to me? Huh. Well, he, he said something different. Do you mind if I talk to him? I, I could put you on hold just very quickly. And well, I'm going to get our office manager here also. One minute, please, too. Hold on. Okay. Make sure you come back, Carol. Oh, I will. Hello. Okay, Roy, so what, what happened here? You, you say you gave him permission? He gave you permission? That's not even a Verizon. Is that even a Verizon number, John? Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, she said that I could have... Her, he said that I could no. take his phone number, and then he, no. threatened, he threatened to tear my throat out. Nobody and, said... Nobody, and he, nobody gave any number up. He said he was going to shoot me with a gun. Oh, my God. He said he was going to shoot you with a gun? Why would he say something like that? Oh, yeah, they hung up. Fuck! He put some lady on the phone, and she just hung up. That sucked. I wanted him to hear a conversation between us. Then he had to start talking to other people. And, oh my god, that guy threatened to tear my throat out. I don't think anyone's ever threatened to tear my throat out before. You know how I created that list of ways that I've been insulted? I need to make another list that tells all the different ways that I've been threatened. I think I'm going to do that right now. On April 12th, 2019, a very old man threatened to tear my throat out for changing his business phone number. It was a very hurtful thing for him to do. And then he said I threatened him just because of the whole gun thing. I don't think that was a threat. Like, how was his not a threat? He said he was going to come and tear my throat out. And how do you even tear someone's throat out? Seems like that would require surgical tools or something. So yesterday, I did a hobo sode where I did a bunch of number changing because Pepe, he sent me a new version of the Pussy Good Pussy Sweet song, which you may have noticed when I played it earlier, 
And that, that guy didn't react to it, by the way. But I don't think that really means anything because he doesn't even know what Los Angeles is. He probably doesn't know what pussy is either. But Pepe, he enhanced the pussy good, pussy sweet song so that it's easier to hear over a telephone line. Because on telephone lines, you can only hear through a certain range of frequencies. So he took out the highs and the lows. That's the reason that people don't call bullshit on my carol voice. Because they don't hear all the weird digital shit happening with my fake voice. But uh, here's the new Pussy Good, Pussy Sweet song. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line and your call will be answered by the... A lot more treble to it now. So it sounds like crap now, but it's easier to hear over a phone line. I called my cell phone with it. You can definitely understand the lyrics better. So thank you for doing that, Pepe. And Pepe also sent me a list of phone numbers that he wanted me to try that out on. And that was yesterday's Hobo Sode. It's a 30-minute episode. There's some good stuff in there. There's, there's this lady. No, you know, I don't really know what to say because that's my business phone number. Yeah, well, they're a corporate customer. So they, they, were, wanting a whole block, they were wanting a whole block of numbers, I, and yours was included. Is this a joke? No, I wouldn't. I've been a customer of y'all for 20 years. Yeah, well, you can still be a customer. I mean, we're not kicking you off. I just have a new... Yeah, no, I, I hear what you're saying, but it's not okay. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. I, already... this is my, I mean, I just, you know, I have hundreds of dollars worth of business cards and... Uh, hundreds and, of and dollars. Other, no, I can't... Those, those other companies, they had, you know, like tens of thousands of dollars in flyers and yellow page ads, and she's complaining about her hundreds of dollars in business cards. But there's a really long, really bizarre one from yesterday's show where I keep transferring this guy, and the guy seems to know it's a joke, but his reactions are still awesome. Be sure to listen to that if you're a supporter of the show. Hobosode number 171. It's good stuff. But I actually still have some numbers left from Pepe's list. I want to give them a try again here real quick. These are the few people that didn't answer yesterday. First, we've got a guy named Sinko. The person you have called is unavailable right now. And it's going straight to voicemail, just like yesterday. We've got this guy named Darren. He's a dude that always answers and will get super pissed, but he didn't answer yesterday. Well, it's Darren. Oh, hey, Darren. Uh, this is Roy from Southwestern Bell. I'm just calling to let you know we changed your phone number today. Oh, really? So, yeah, so this number, the 69, or it's not going to work for you anymore. I've got your new number here. Oh, no. Uh, why can't I keep my number, man? It's a business, too, and there's all kinds of, there's letterheads and everything. Oh, it doesn't. This is, is going to amount to some money. Oh, it doesn't show that it's a business on here. It says it's a residential line. Well, yeah, but I have a hobby business, too. It's oh, it's like, a hobby like now. Most not, well, like it's, most people. <laughs> if, it's, if it's just a hobby, it's not a big deal. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Somebody else wanted your phone number. They outbid you on it. Nobody but, can have my phone number. It's, well, uh, I publish it. It's all over the place. I get calls from all over the world on it. Well, it's not, it's not really your phone number. It's uh, we, we own the phone numbers. We just kind of lease them out to you. Huh. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about this. I, I know this is inconvenient. No, you can't change my phone number. That won't. That, that, that's going to mess me all up. Yeah. What kind of uh, quote-unquote hobby are you doing there? Uh, I sell musical uh, electronic stuff for musicians. Oh, that sounds like a business. Yeah. On a residential line. But that, that's okay. I mean, that, that's no big deal. Um, but I have your new number here. Uh, you're going to have to give out your new number to all your customers. Yeah, I might have or, to reprint yeah. my business cards, my yeah. uh, letterheads, change my website. Uh, well, that's easy. People are going to be trying to call the old number because they they know it. Yeah, uh, this, just, this is this is what what's the purpose of changing the number? Well, there there's a what, are, what the what the why the hell do you want to do that? I, I just had this other customer. He wanted your phone number for his. Well, he, he, well, run, he can't have it. He runs a joke line. He, he's a celebrity. He was a what? It's a joke line. I guess people are going to call it and they get to hear a joke. He's a celebrity. That's that's stupid. Well, that that's just that's his business. No, he, he he can't have my number. No, thank you. But he paid a lot of money for it. I, I mean, it's already been done. Well, it's, it's already changed. Well, that then no, the the, the you can't change my number. Have Sorry. You, have you ever heard of Carrot Top? Never. Oh yeah, he's a, a famous comedian. Um, he's the one that got your number. 
so we'll tell him to pick on a different number. Well, no, he wanted yours because it spells his name. No thanks. No, I mean it's. I'm. I'm not giving you a choice. I'm telling you, it's already been done. You, you've got a new phone number now, and I've got the number here if you'd like that. Uh, who Who are you, and what what are, what are, what is your business? How, do, how do, can you How can you come? You do this. You can't do that. Well, th- this is Roy with AT and T. We own the numbers. We own all the phone numbers in your area. So we're we're able to just. Are uh, you at, Are you at your computer, or wh- where? What are you? Up to? Yeah, yeah, I'm right in you front have of the access. Com- yeah, yep. t- t- look at my website, and you get an idea what you're oh, screwing it's, up. It's not that kind of computer. It's it's uh you know it's just for billing purposes. You know, I can just change records and change phone numbers and stuff like that. It's you not the internet. You can't look at a website. Well, I don't want to look at your website anyway. Like, why would I want to look at your website? So you know why you can't change my number. Well, y- you can. I mean, it's really easy to go on a website and just change your phone number to a new one. It's not like it costs money. Yeah, to... no. yeah, but it's in uh, thousands of cell phones all over the world. And they want to call me. They punch punch in and get the wrong number. Yeah, just, just call them all up and say, hey, I've got a new number. If you ever, Yeah, right. I don't even know who they are. Well, that's weird. This sounds sketchy. Like, what are you doing, really? Uh, you, you Listen, you're the one that sounds sketchy. This isn't, this isn't right. No, I'm not sketchy. I'm with the phone I've company. Had the, I've had the, I've had this number since 1972, and I and I'm and I, every I, it's all over the world. People call from Europe and everything. What's well, about time you let someone they're, else they're, have it? If you've had it that long, that, that's like 60 years or something. Well, you can imagine how entrenched it is, then, sir. Yeah, but it's just a phone number. People don't care about numbers these days. That's like caring about your IP well, address. Well, I do. Just, just, I do. Just get a Skype. Tell them to call you on your Skype. Get a FaceTime. You know, like, get get involved with the new millennia. You know, just tell people to dial your name. Numbers are so 1960s. No, uh, no, you, 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 uh, you, you know, you have to, you have to compensate me or something. There's no way to, to, that I'm going to give up my phone number. It's, it's been, it's, it's, it's too widely known and, too widely used. Okay, I tell you what I'll do. I'm going to type it here in the computer. You get $10 off your next bill. All done. <laughs> That's a joke. Well, you're welcome. No, and, I don't want any new numbers. Thank you. Okay. Well, you've already got the new number. It's it's done. That's uh <laughs> that's not uh, that's not the way it should work. I have the number. Uh, who's here. your who's your boss anyway? Uh my boss. Can I talk to your supervisor? Yeah, I can put Carol on if you want to talk to Carol. I, I don't like. I'd be I, happy I to talk to anybody that can. I mean, can, uh, this is uh, a that, that's going to quit screwing me up. This is a done deal, though. I mean, I already gave it to Carrot Top. That you're, you you're can't old. do that without asking me. He's going to run a joke line. You um, have no idea what what kind of a mess you're making. Okay. Well. Uh, Get it, look at look at my website. And you can see what kind of business. What's your website? Is. What's your address? It's fire. dot com. F i r e dash. Oh, you you put a dash in your website? That's like a rookie mistake. Because that that just makes it. That's like scary minus art. dot com. Like he's got to tell everyone about the minus, or does he call it a dash or a hyphen? It just it's it's a whole other. That's st- right. Why that's did, right. Why did, why'd you put we've the been, hyphen? We've been doing this for. Twenty years. Yeah, I, I'd get a new website while you're while you're at it. What you know, the, it's the new <laughs> you with the new phone number. You get a website that doesn't have a dash in it. You, you've got the most absurd ideas I've ever heard, and the first one is trying to change my damn phone. Number. What? Not having a dash? Like like like? Do you think NBC? Do they do NBC dash news dot com? No, because that's stupid. They're just NBC dot com. Like, the, what? You can't even be you can't even be from AT and T because you're calling your customers stupid. No, I didn't that's, say you were stupid. I said it would be stupid if NBC put a dash in their URL. You said it was you. You said it's stupid to okay. have a dash. In my, Look, I like it that way. Yeah, weird. Okay. Anyway, and I, I, and I need to I need to keep the same phone number. I can put Carol on if if you want to talk to my supervisor. 
I certainly, she, I certainly want to do it. Want to make her aware how screwed up she's making. This. She no, it's not her. It's me. I, I'm the one that did it. But I, yeah, well, you better undo it real quick. Okay. Anyway, I can get Carol. I, I have to page her over here and get her on the phone. Okay. Would you mind holding for just a minute? What's your name? Uh, this is Roy. Is your bell? Okay, Roy. Thank you. Sure. You're welcome. Just just a minute, please. Carol, are you there? Yes, Roy. What is it? There's this fucking idiot on the fucking phone. He, I, I took. It's the carrot top thing. I told you how carrot top wanted uh, his phone number, and and now he's throwing a big bitch fit about it. He's he's being a he's being an asshole. He's threatening me. He made threats to me, and he made personal I insults. I have not either. And I, I don't know you're, what it, he, he wants to talk to you is though. This, is this, this okay. can't be AT, um, AT&T. Go ahead and transfer you're not him over. Not acting like a business. Just transfer him over to me, and uh, I'll 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 deal with him. I'll deal with this. One of these again. Why? Why do you always get these type of people, Roy? I don't know. It's it's ridiculous. He, he thinks he owns the phone number. He's, he's acting like we're not even AT and T. All right. Um, go ahead and transfer him over. I'll talk to him. Okay. Here you go. Hello. This is Carol. Can I help you? Yes. This is Darren. Hello, Darren. Uh, How can I help you today? Well, uh, this is. This is numbers used for a business, and it's known all over the world, and I get calls from everywhere. I've had this phone number for uh, since 1972, and it's, it's, uh, it's, not, it's going to cause a tremendous amount of trouble to change it and reprint letterheads and business cards oh, and business. everything. It's not, it's not uh, I, I can't let you... Let it be changed. Okay, let me check something here. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Yes. Um, it looks like this isn't a business line. This is a residential line. Uh, though, if you would like to see what business it screws up, you can. I can tell you a website. You oh, okay. It. Yeah, what's the website? Uh, Fire.com. F-I-R-E dash Okay, F I R E D A S. No. H. F I R E dash a minus sign. Oh, dash D A S H minus M I N U S. F I F I R E dash. So is dash spelled with a D? Dash is not a word, it's a symbol. Symbol? S. Minus sign. S Y M B O L L like Larry, right? Well, F I R E dash dot com. That that's coming up as not found. Dash D A S H. Is it dash symbol? Yes. Minus sign. So oh minus sign. So M I N U S, and then another S I. Are you are you trying to be be an idiot on purpose? I mean, uh, you know, Sir. you know the <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? There's a key. There's a key with a minus sign on it on your computer. So K K F I R E dash K E Y. I'm sorry. Uh, this this is weird. You're 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 not acting like uh, your ear works. Well, no, you're just giving me this really convoluted URL, fire dash minus I'm not symbol either. minus <laughs> sign sign key it's dot the com. Name of the the name of the company is fire dash com. I mean fire uh, dash fire. com. So it's the company's uh, name is so and the company website is fire dash dot com. So dash com. So I use a dash instead of the period button. F I R E fire. Well, I'm sorry. Why Minus am I going to your URL? Dot com. Yeah, I'm, I'm not uh, sure why I'm going I'm here. I'm sorry if you, if you can't understand that. 
That's sad. I, can, I don't. Uh, I don't see how you how you can miss uh, that. It's, well, anyway, it looks, nobody else in the world that I talk to has a problem typing looks, that in. It looks like um, it looks like your number has been given to a comedian. His name's Carrot Top. Well, um, you can't do that. He's going to make. I need a- that number. It's I've had it since seventy two, and it's and it's uh, going to cause a tremendous amount of trouble. He's going to make a joke line. It like can't, people it can't ca- be changed. People will call, his, call that number, and it's going to be an answering machine with a joke on it. They call that number from all over the world. Yeah, and they're, they're going to hear jokes when they call it. But it um, uh, looks like you've been do, assigned... Do not, do, not, do not change my number. Oh, no, it's already been changed. I have your new number here, if you'd like that. Well, you can change it back then, because it's not... Uh, it's not uh, not going to happen. Well, no, Carrot Top paid twenty thousand dollars for your phone number. He outbid you on it. Uh, okay. Well, I don't. Where? When am I going to see the check? Uh, oh no, no, that money goes to us. We're the ones that own the number, not you. Like it's, uh, it's just. I've phone... owned the number since nineteen seventy-two. You can't do this. Yeah, but phone numbers—they're—they're they're not really a thing anymore. Uh, we're phasing those out. Uh, we dial numbers with people's names now. You, you should uh, get a personalized name for your f- telephone. No, thank you. No, like, thank you. Like, uh, you know, this, Dash. This number's... This dash. Number is, you got... You You can't do that. Uh, it's not It's not possible. This This number cannot be changed. Oh, no, it, it's it's possible. It's, too, um, it's, it, it, it's, it's been, it's been it's uh, ingrained all... I get calls from all over the world on this number. People... I can't. I can't uh, con- communicate with any with all the people that uh, that need to know a new different number. Yeah, but Carrot Top actually set up his number as a business line, and it looks like yours isn't even a business line, but you're using it for business. So what? Well, uh, that but, doesn't mean you, that doesn't mean you can change it. Well, uh, I don't know. It seems like a, that's the, you're 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 doing something you're not supposed to be doing. This is supposed all to be a of, business. All of, all of the all of my acquaintances are friends. Oh, so it's the friend line. The, the friends call you from all over the world. You're not a, you're not you're not a, talking like a business. You're not you can't be AT and T. I guess I should just come clean with you. Bye. Bye. Slam. <laughs> hey, Lamo! You just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show on 100.9 The Gerbil. Don't let it get you down. Slamming is what we do best. And he's gone. He hung up. And oh my gosh, you guys, like all the products on his website, he sells like electronics. And I'm probably going to bleep out his full URL, but every single product, I think he makes them himself. Like he puts together these electronic devices they look pretty cool they look like bombs or something they've got big red buttons on them and big knobs i guess they're for video equipment or uh musical things i'm not sure but what i'm trying to say is every single device on his page has a hyphen in it like no matter what the name is there's a hyphen in between the two words it's pretty great he's a real believer in these hyphens i'm sorry pepe that i didn't use your new hold music but i really wanted to try that out you know, having a conversation with myself. And he sounded so old that he would just think pussy means his kitty cat. So whatever. That one's done. I've got two more numbers here that are, I guess these are friends of Pepe. So maybe Pepe is going to get to hear some aftermath of these calls. Maybe he can give us some updates on what happens with them. But next we're going to call Chip. Hello? Hello, Chip. Yeah. Hey, Chip. Uh, this is Roy from Verizon Wireless. I'm um, calling to let you know we've changed yep. your phone number today. Why is that? Uh, somebody else wanted it. They outbid you on it. So they're going to have your number now, and you have a new number. And if you'd like your new number, I've got that here for you. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you know your phone number. You know People have to dial um, 10 digits to get a hold of you. No, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how they're, like, um, I, I, like on an address book, like, usually they just, you know, punch your name in, and your name has this, it's a assigned 10 digits, and that's how the phone knows to connect to you. 
because you can't dial with names. So there's this underlying. And, 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 where, and, what, and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Verizon Wireless. I, I'm just calling to let you know what yeah, your, your your new phone number is. What town are you calling from? Oh, I'm I'm calling from Miami, Florida. I'm here in the customer service call center. Well, the call doesn't say Miami, Florida. Yeah, it routes through the local office. It probably shows your local Verizon store's number. But I listen, man. I don't know what you're saying. I've had the same number for ten years. Oh, so you know what a number know. is? What's that now? So you know what a number is? Yes, I do. I know my number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you, you. Well, you don't know it anymore. It's changed to a new number. I have your new number here if you'd like that. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. You have a new phone number. Somebody else has your old number now. Your your six six one seven. Why do they number? have my why Why do they have my number? Because it spells their name. And they just they wanted That's a person. Yeah. yeah, they wanted a personalized number that spelled their name. Oh, buddy. You're, yeah. you're blowing smoke up my ass. No. Who is this? No, I, I wouldn't do that, sir. I, I'm calling from Verizon. I'm just calling to give you your new phone number. That's all. Well, you can text it to me. Okay, well, um, I can do that, I guess. But uh, it, it's going to be in a different area code and everything. I can go ahead and text that to you once we hang up. And he hung up. Should I text him his new number? <laughs> Here, let me get on the PLA prank line Google account. And send him a quick text with his new phone number. Hello, Chip. Your new phone number is 1-800-EAT-SHIT. Thank you for using Verizon Wireless. From Roy. There we go. That should make him happy. Now, should I call him back? Or should I just uh, just kind of update you guys while we play voicemails of what he's saying? That's going to be a really easy number for people to remember. And it's toll free. I feel like I should call him up and tell him that. You know, point out the benefits of this new phone number that we just gave him. Hello? Hey, Chip. Uh, I texted your new phone number to you. So uh, you've got that now, and I guess, is there anything else I can do for you? I need your name and your number. Oh, well, can you do that? Yeah, well, the, your, my number shows up on your caller ID. And my what name, is your name? My name's Roy. I texted you my name earlier. I said it's from... Roy, what's your last name? Zerbel. Why, why do you need my last name? Because I need to know if you work for the phone company. Well, of course I do. Why would I say that I work for the phone company if I don't? Did, did, you, did you get my text? I, I sent you a text with your new number. I'm going to... I'm going to Verizon right now. For for what? No, I don't work at the local Verizon. I work in Miami. I listen, man, I don't give a shit. I'm going to them and let them talk to you. What really? Okay. Like you're gonna hand the phone over? Yeah. How long is it gonna take you? It won't take me long. Well, why are, why you are better we... get off the gun but you better not call here again. What why are we doing this though? Why are you gonna hand me I don't wanna talk to Oh, he, there he goes. That sounded really interesting. I was kind of looking forward to that happening. I could have talked shop with a fellow Verizon Wireless employee. You know, have them give me the password of the day and everything. But he just goes and hangs up on me. Uh, he hasn't replied to the text yet. But I will keep an eye on this as we play voicemails right now. Really? Hey, that one call where you, the guy said, uh, the recipient said he's standing there with his mouth open. And he said, that's hot. That was so fucking funny. I clipped hot. that and sent it to several friends who don't listen to the show. And they all thought it was just fucking hilarious. That's but anyway, great. my point was then you had that listener call up and leave a voicemail saying that that was a missed opportunity. And that you should have said something about a dick in his mouth or something. Like, no, that's just that's dumb. Yeah, I know. That, that would be far too on-the-nose comedy. So that's I what I was thinking. Know that your way, your subtle way, the way you handled it was yeah. far funnier to me. Got, got to be subtle. And it just goes to show that you know what some people hate, other people think are hilarious. So anyway, right. That was, I thought that was far funnier. And yeah, if you were to say something about a dick from the homeowners association, then we, we, that would have just ended the call. So anyway, keep yeah. doing God's work, Bradley. T and remember, I'm keeping my cacti on you. Oh shit! Yeah, take that person who was complaining about my comedy stylings of not using the dick word enough. That guy thinks you're wrong. Hey, Brad. It's under a minute, Matt. Hey, Out of Matt. Mesa, Arizona. It needs to be under 30 seconds, goddammit. Just calling to say what's going on. Everything's hey. 
Breezy. That's here. I'm good to fun. know. I hey, care. I'm listening to a 2017 video of you calling this guy up listening about to a video. Antennas. I don't know if you remember doing those. Antennas. May 27, almost two years ago. Yep. Anyway, you should do more of those shows, bro. Okay. I'm going to do it. All right. More antenna Signing calls. Cactus, cactus. I tried to do another antenna call recently. I don't know if you're talking about the ghost tower guy or all of those other guys whose antennas I was trying to move. You know, they're gigantic mast antennas, radio tower things. I'm like, yeah, we're just going to move that a couple blocks to the east. No big deal. Oh, and look at this. Under a minute, Matt left another voicemail that is also over 30 seconds. So basically, he's over a minute when you combine both of these. And on this one, he's just singing. So I'm going to delete this one. What the hell, under a minute, Matt? That's not how this works. Hello, what are you doing? You got me all pissed off now. You got me riled up. Oh, shit. You don't want me riled up. Now, he, he found me. No, really, it's Mike or Corgi. I don't know how, but I, he found me. Oh, hey, voicemail Mike I know, or Corgi. Oh, my God. Did you listen to the background noise when he was doing his video? Multiple times there was just screaming. So I wonder if his wife is beating his kids or something. I don't know. I kept hearing him rub his hands together a bunch. It seemed like, I, I mean, I assume it was his hands. Let's hope it was his hands. But he kept rubbing his hands together. Right, his wife is just in agonizing pain from finding Bigfoot. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but there's a lot of screaming. And maybe, maybe his wife is Bigfoot. He seems like a really terrible person with a lot of actual problems. Yeah. So you're very smart to stop calling. But stop, unfortunately, stop that's probably oh. not going to stop a lot of other people from messing with him. And so he's eventually going to find you out. So yeah. be careful not to get double crossed. Well, I don't care if he finds me. We're talking about Archie, by the way. That's a hobo sode thing. Really, I should be playing this voicemail on the hobo sodes, but screw it. If you guys don't know what Micro Corey is talking about, then go be a hobo sode subscriber at patreon.com slash phone losers. But Archie was a lot of fun. I did an update on Archie. He did another video about me talking about the phone call he got from the mayor and the mayor doesn't like him. And he actually called City Hall and was like, does the mayor really not like me? And he is a damn weirdo. And you people who have found him and are commenting on his videos, cut it out. Leave the poor guy alone. He's got enough problems. You're going to get the guy who submitted the number to me. Uh, you know, he's going to get killed in Archie's basement. He's going to have an upside down cross carved into his forehead. We don't want that for the person that submitted that number. Quit tattling on us all. Brad, cool. JD calling. Hey, hey uh, JD. a couple of things. One thing is... You know, I know all this debate about the people not being able to hear the pussy good, pussy sweet on hold music. No, now we can't. I really don't think it is that they can't hear it. I really don't think it's an EQ issue at all. I think it's because people just don't fucking pay attention to on hold music. Yeah. Um, so I've been going through... Well, they pay attention to the Filthy Frank one. I think I just need to use that one all the time from now on. ...shows, and I'm just like, no, I just think they're not paying attention to it. Yeah, Because I think probably. they can hear it. So that's one. Number two, somebody should get a picture of the knobby guy. Because I really think that that should be the show art for one show. Because okay. I have this idea of what he looks like in my mind. And it's basically Scott Tennerman. And I want to know if I'm right. All right. Have a good one. Bye, JD. I'm Googling Scott Tennerman right now. See who the hell that is. Oh, that's Scott Tennerman. Okay. South Park guy. Yeah, I can see that. Nobby guy, send a picture of yourself. I want a picture of you holding up a sign that says PLA is awesome. Or something, you know, similar to that. Or how about this? Send me an email, show at snowplowshow.com, and give me your address. I will send you a PLA sticker. And if I send you a PLA sticker, then you are required to send me a photo of yourself holding up the PLA sticker. It's not fair that you know what I look like, and I don't know what you look like. This is bullshit. What do you have to say about this knobby guy? Oi, <laughs> You forgot to do the, the, the vagi idea. You still the do vaginal that. Vaginal idea? That, but I, like you call, you call, I guess you could say you call up a shop and call the lady vagi. I know, is that, 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 Call her vagi? You want me to call a, a female vagi? Like, hey, how you doing there, vagi? The, the vagi idea. You still, you still I think that's what he's saying. Nobby guy, your connection is just getting worse and worse with every call. You need to turn off your torrents before you call me. But before you do that, send a picture in to the show. Hey, Brad. It's Brad. I'm calling you from the Futel payphone. Oh, yeah. On um, Southeast 13th. It's, it's me, everyone. It's me. Clinton Street. 
I expect this message to be played. This sounds like garbage. If it isn't, I will be withdrawing my Patreon support. So play it or else. All right. Hopefully this sounds just amazing because this payphone looks like it's in top-notch condition. Just look at it. Can anybody just understand this? I can't see it because it's a voice. Okay, bye. So that was me calling from a payphone. And I think I've done that before, that exact same call, basically. I called from a payphone in Portland, Oregon on Southeast 13th Street, I think it was, in Clinton. I took video and made some recordings this time of me using the payphone, and I have not put the video together yet. I'm gonna maybe hopefully do that this weekend. But Futel, they provide free payphones to the public all over Portland, Oregon. I don't know how many payphones they have right now, but they have them hooked up to a asterisk system, just like I do. And you can make free calls, you can be automatically connected to the power company, to the mayor, there's an apology line if you want to apologize for anything that you've done. I apologize in the video that I made. So hopefully I'll have that video up soon. I'll probably put it on the youtube.com slash phone losers of America channel. Hello, Roy. What's up, man? It's Rico Rocks here. Hey, Rico Rocks. Just want to say what's up. Okay. Still watching your shows. You know, I haven't caught up all the way yet, but uh, doing a show. what I'd like to see is some, if you, uh, if you haven't done them lately, some I don't like you phone calls those were always really great that's when i first actually found out about you when i very first heard about you it was one of those i don't like you videos it was that fucking guy who was like i'm worried about it like i'm concerned who don't like me oh yeah the guy oh. in denver so yeah that was it. or colorado like or calls. something all right Brad. Check this, check this. bye rico rocks and i'm gonna assume that this voicemail that you left just five minutes later is not important i can just delete that or I guess I can just tell you what he says from the transcript. He wants to know if I know where to find the movie The History of Future Folk because it's not on Netflix anymore. And uh, you just have to download it, you know, get on a torrent and download it. That's what I did. I think I recommended that movie in a snowplow show many years ago. It's a fun little independent movie. I've played music from it on the show before. So that's what I would suggest. Either pirate it or I don't know, maybe there are there DVDs of it you can buy? Look on Amazon, History of Future Folk. Hey, Brad. Hey. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Okay. I don't have incredibly awesome fucking things to say. You do but or you you're don't? you're incredibly fucking awesome. Oh, Listen thanks. Listen to you every single day at work. Without you, I'd be bored. Thank you. I think you called a liquor store in my town. I think it was South End Liquor. Oh, I don't okay. know if you called my city, South End, did, Indiana. Did but, they put a sign up? Uh, yeah. Appreciate you. How do you know? Good work. You should keep on doing more shows. Thank you. I will. I will keep on doing more shows. Thanks for the call. This message is for Roy Gerbel. I'm returning your call from the ad on Craigslist. The nunchuck dildos. I could go on a buy one, get one. Only I think this might be fake, everyone. Go down to the Madhouse show and beat the fuck out of Carlito with them. And um, But you have to give him a pair as well to see if he's able to beat you and post it. Yeah. So remember, I could do right. the... Fight between me and Carlito coming up soon with dildo nunchucks. It's going to be great. I can't wait for that. Ooh, Stephanie changed color. Need more input. Yeah. Nice reference, man. <laughs> I don't remember doing that, but I definitely get the reference. Uh, I think I'm bored with playing voicemails. I'm going to play, I guess, I don't know, one more. Let me just play the most recent one. There's there's a bunch in here. Hey, Brad, it's Justin from Maryland. Hey, um, Justin. Just two quick things. One, um, you posted... Episode 171 up on Phone Losers of America again. I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be. Oh, yeah, I know. Secret and not public to everybody. It's weird because I select the secret option when I'm posting it, and then I look at it, and it's not secret. So I have to go there again and make it secret again, even though I already did that. So I think the system that I use just kind of sucks. Wow, there it is. It's still there, even though I double checked it last night and made sure it was not public. Um, nobody can, I can't <sighs> play it. Yeah. It has a play button, but when you press the play button, nothing plays. Yeah. Um, Maybe you should be a subscriber. Another thing that I noticed that I, I wanted to call in for a while about is this idea of uh, oftentimes you say um, when somebody asks you, like, is this a joke? Are you joking? You go, you say your response is always like, oh, no, I'm a Christian. And it's just like I can't imagine, like, that nobody has called you on this yet. Like, I really want someone oh, to say, like, something, because it's, like, it's so crazy that, like... It's happened once or twice. I remember one person saying, well, well I'm a Christian and I joke. I, I think a couple people have called me out on that, but I like the idea that Christians aren't allowed to joke. 
you're basically saying like, oh, Christian people can't tell jokes, or like Christian yeah. people can't make prank they just, calls they and just stuff. Suck and like, them. I know plenty of Christian people who tell lots of jokes and make prank calls and stuff. So yeah. it's just like They're probably all dad jokes, though. I, I don't know. It's just hilarious to me that no one has ever called you out on that and been like, well, I'm a Christian and I make jokes sometimes. Yeah. So it's just like I Once. hope somebody like gets that one day and like responds to you. I don't know what what your response would be to that, but I just hope somebody. <laughs> I don't remember what I said to that person. All right. Thanks. Bye. So I made that hobo sode private again while your voicemail was playing, and it is still showing up on another browser where I'm not logged in. So I don't know what's going on with it. I think the best way to fix that would be to support the show at phonelosers.com slash cactus. It's only $5 a month, and you get to hear an extra show every week. It's a pretty good deal. You're crazy for passing that up. By the way, speaking of hobo sods, you guys have to hear this because this is so stupid. I was talking to Cat last night. Not my cat, you know, Cat Catastrophe from the Hijinx channel on Discord. And she told me that even though she has been a supporter of the show for a year or two, she's never listened to a single hobo sod because she's too lazy to set it up on her phone. So, you know, it's like it's nice of her to support the show and everything, but what the hell? All the good stuff's on the hobo sods, cat. What are you doing not listening to the Hobosodes? There's 171 Hobosodes in there. Some of them 10 minutes long. Some of them 30 minutes long. A couple of them an hour long. But there's been some really amazing stuff that's happened in Hobosodes. You are missing out. If we do another meetup in San Jose, I'm taking your phone and I am setting up the Hobosodes for you so you can hear them all. I encourage everyone to join the Hijinks Hangout chat room on Discord and ask Cat what the fuck not listening to hobo sods what's wrong with you woman and while you're on discord be sure to sign up for the pla discord also you can find both of those links in the show notes of every single show the pla discord is in the community section and the hijinks discord link is in the friends section we now have an audio channel on our discord that plays pla content all day and whenever there's a live show a lot of times they'll put the live show in there you know a live show by me or a live show by anyone else I don't do live shows anymore, but that's a lot of fun. I mean, not for me. I don't want to go in there and listen to myself, but it's fun for everyone else. There's three people in there right now. Well, two people, including the the bot. So be sure to check those out. Hijinks Discord, Yell at Cat, PLA Discord. Listen to audio while chatting with other PLA people. Thank you for listening today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Big thanks to the listeners like Badger Teeth and Jesse Lobster, my third nipple, Norman Bates, an unfortunate byproduct. Those are five of the people that force me to keep doing shows every single week, whether I want to or not. Somebody emailed me recently and complained that I haven't played the Dreaming of Phone Lines song in a while. So that's what we're ending today's show with. I'm dreaming of phone lines, but we're on hold. You couldn't connect to your instincts tonight. I'm dreaming of phone I'll come over there and I'll tear your throat out. That's how angry I am.